Hey friends, it's Chris. I'm dropping in from the side of Mount Tibrigargan on the Sunshine Coast of Queensland. Um, I'm not on the tourist trail today. I am around on the face and I'm making a push for the summit. Um, I'm about 30 metres up and I'm just sitting on a tiny little ledge to make this video. So I'm going to be quick because it does look like rain's coming and I, this is not the place I want to be when, uh, when rain hits. <laughs> so. Um, I wanted to talk briefly about the nature of fear. I know we cover a lot of that in what we do. Lindsay does her challenges about stepping into fear and uh, I, I talk about it. I just wanted to go a little bit deeper with it today and talk about how fear is a very much a fact of life. It permeates everything that we do. You know, we, we can find ourselves with that creeping anxiety that tightens everything up in here. Um, with the thought of having to talk to our boss, with the thought of having an argument with our spouse, with the thought of, um, I mean, it depends what, what, what it is that triggers it for you, but there, there is so much fear in life for us and we don't even realize it, we've just become accustomed to it. That's one of the reasons I love coming to places like this, you know, where, where life is all about fear and it's, um, it becomes very apparent. It's not so much just a, an accustomed little choking sort of sensation in the throat. This is very, very much a, a fearful environment. And it reminds us of what's important. The thing with fear is that it exists in the moment. So that's one of the reasons why it is so powerful. It draws you back to the moment. Now, fear will turn into panic when that moment in your mind is extended beyond that so when you start projecting that fear from this moment into the next one into the next one and then down into the future so you know you might be climbing your muscles might be feeling fatigued they're fatigued in this moment but you think about the fact that they have been building towards fatigue and that you've still got some way to go sorry there's mosquitoes all around me and you are starting to have that fear build and because the fear is now no longer just in the moment with you it's now projecting into the future that becomes panic so the way to avoid panicking in any situation not just on the side of a rock face but any situation regardless of where you are is to stay in the moment panic cannot exist in the moment fear can and that's beautiful fear can drag you into the moment panic can't panic is all about being outside of the moment and being disconnected from the moment so next time you feel you know the urge to panic come in bring yourself back to the moment and you do that with the breath you do that with recognizing that this moment stands alone from every other moment you know the next moment may have identical parameters that this one's got you may very well be thinking okay so i'm hanging on the side of a cliff face i don't know where my next hold is i don't know how i'm going to get out of this and i'm starting to feel fatigued that starts to awaken a little bit of panic in you. Only because you're thinking about, not in terms of this moment, but that's what the next moment's gonna present as well. The next moment, you may be able to look and see that there's a hold that you, uh, you missed. So that's the crucial point is, come back to the moment and in the moment recognize that yes there is a little bit of fear in this moment yes you are fatigued in this moment but it's only in this moment the next one's going to present something else so i hope that helps that's uh that's coming from not just a life of you know climbing in places like this um surfing free diving uh it, it's also coming from having endured panic attacks when i was in my teens and forcing myself to overcome those panic attacks you know I was so fearful of panicking and anxiety had built up in me to such a point that I was constantly having these panic attacks and the way that I taught myself to overcome that was just to to do that very thing to bring myself back to my breath to recognize that yes in this moment I was scared of what was happening to me but it was just this moment it didn't exist outside of that so practice that if it's panic attacks if it's talking to your boss if it's climbing beautiful rock faces, regardless of what it is. Practice that, come back to the moment and recognize that the moment has what it has, but it stands alone. The next moment's gonna have different things for you. Okay, I hope I haven't rambled on too much. I hope you found some benefit in what I've said. I love you all and I can't wait to check in again soon.